Hello everyone, how's it going? It is me Jack here and welcome to episode number 6 of the Charlton Athletic Save on Football Manager 2020 on the JCR YouTube channel. It's game week 44 and before we take a look at the league table, let's have a quick look at the fixtures prior to this episode. Of course in the last episode you saw, you saw a really big blow against Hull City, the team that were bottom of the league going into that game, beat us by two goals to one, with us taking the lead. Of course, we've played six games, five league games and a friendly since then. Queen's Park Rangers were straight after the Hull City match in a midweek fixture. They were able to score first thanks to Loney uh, signing Jack Clark. We were quick to equalise with Lyle Taylor getting on the score sheet. However, two goals before the brink of half-time, thanks to this main man here, Abere Eze, a really, really good player. And Ryan Manning meant that QBR were able to seal all three points at the Valley. We played Cardiff City next. It took a while for the first goal to go in, but it did, thanks to Aidan Flint. And then Chucks Eniki equalised. And I actually want to show you this goal here scored. An own goal by Deji Oshalaja. Let's have a look at the goals because uh, this is this is quite something, this goal here. I think this um, really sort of epitomises, is that the right word? I'm not too sure. It really does just sort of sum up really how this uh, away sort of record has gone uh, this season. I was a little bit angry, shall we say, at uh, this goal. Uh, this is the next highlight here. So we can see Patterson on the ball. And, uh, yeah, that is exactly what happened. Quite literally, Deji Ojalaja nearly did. He just walked to the line, to be honest. And then it was an easy tackle for Troy Parrott to make it 2-1. And there's a point just dropped like that from uh, that game there. Then we had an international break. So we, uh, I literally played a really um, sort of weaker team. We are able to beat Haverhill Borough 2-0. And then... Almost like that helped us in a way because the next two games we were victorious. Millwall, we beat them by a goal to nil thanks to Joshua Zerksey. That's only his second goal of the season for us on loan. And then, finally, it took us 40-odd games. But we finally get an away victory. Goals from Lyle Taylor and Sam Field were able to seal what is a huge three points, I thought at the time towards our survival hopes finally winning a game away from home and I thought can this be a big moment we went five at the back for that game as well however before the Redden match we got Lyle Taylor injured in training he's going to miss the entirety of the season now as you can see he's going to be going to Nashville in the MLS having scored 22 goals it was the last we seen of him and we played Redden. And also in this game, Xerxes got injured. He's out for two weeks as well. He might be finished now. But unfortunately, two goals from two Lucases, Boy and Zhao, in the 75th and 84th minute respectively. So Redden beat us at the Valley and leave us in 23rd position. And this is exactly how the league table looks. From uh, the victories that we accumulated, we are five points from safety with only three games to go. If we lose in this episode, well, depending on other results, we are down. It is vital that we get a victory here against Birmingham. And we get a victory, it really does throw everything because right now the gap between Derby and Birmingham is only three points. All of these teams, I think Wednesday will be safe, but all of these teams are still within a shout of survival. It is going to be crazy. We need to try and get up there with three games to go. It's going to be tough, but we've got Derby. We've still got to play Wigan, who, let's be honest, have got nothing to play for now, and Leeds United, who are fighting primarily for position. What you're going to be seeing is, of course, the last episode was Friday. I normally have been doing recently two uh, a day's rest and then you get the episode. The weekend, this is coming out on the Saturday. Tomorrow's episode will be the finale against Leeds United on Sunday. You're going to be getting two videos on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
what a weekend of football is going to be. We've had Friday's episode. Here's an episode now against Birmingham City. 18th placed in the league. If we take a look at the form at the moment, you can see we are sitting here. Birmingham City are just a little bit ahead of us. They've had a draw in their form, but loss, win, loss. What will the result be today? It is vital that we get only our second win away. We lost to Birmingham at home last time. This is going to be the tactic that we have adopted with injuries to Taylor and Xerxes and even Stevie Mallon as well. He's out for pretty much the rest of the season. It is going to be Aniki and Hamed to lead the line with Johnny Williams sat behind them. The two midfielders, Field and Sam, will be uh, partnering up. And the back five of Matthews, Oshelaja, Lockyer, Garcia and Wittek with Phillips remaining in goal. The bench will consist of Amos, Solly Pierce. Cullen, Forster Kasky, Oshtuma and Bon. But unfortunately, three vital players have all picked up big injuries. And that is going to really hurt us now as we uh, continue on to this game. I don't think, actually, there is one piece of business I do want to show you. We've been making moves in the transfer market as well. We brought in this player for next season. Oh, hang on a second. Gian Giacomo Magnani from Sassuolo. He's going to be in regardless of whether we get promoted promoted i'm definitely not going to get promoted this season whether we survive or whether we go down he's going to be a center back for us next season and he looks really really good i've compared him to garcia and they are fairly similar a few stats both defenders are better than each other but this could be a really really good signing for us six foot three so he's very physical on the ball as well great tackling great marking great jumping reach this boy could be a fantastic player for us next season However, we've got to concentrate on this ma this match now against Birmingham City at St Andrews. Let's submit the team and go forward now with this match. This is going to be a huge match. If we can get three points here, it just all depends on other results. But we've only won one, only won one away this entire season. <sighs> what do we say to them? I'm going to just try and no pressure. There's no pressure on anyone today. If we lose, then we lose. And we're pretty much relegated. It's been such a difficult season though. It really, really has been a difficult season. And I'm just thinking, you know, if anything was to blame, it had to it has to be the away form. I think I've said it already. The away form would be to blame for uh, us going down. But it is not over until it is over. Birmingham on the ball. Ball at the box. Phillips with an excellent save and Deji Oshalaja able to clear the ball out. We have had no chances. The Brentford game in which we had... Brentford dominated us, but it was just the sheer defensive qualities. Oh! Really helped us to win that football match. The first away win of the season. We nearly got off on the front foot there. The ball trickled around. Ball put in the area from the corner. Jude Bellingham clears it as far as Smith. Ball goes out. Looking inspired thanks to that. Gets creative feedback. But... Oh, another highlight. Come on, lads. Deji Oshalaja on it. Finds Adam Matthews, who's going to play the ball inside to field. Now we hoop it to Aniki. He's playing the advanced forward role rather than that of a cam role. He can't whip it in. Unfortunately, there was a few options there that he could have took, but he just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. And now Bella is going to run inside. Still running with it. Deflects, and now Field gets it. What can Deji do with it? Williams. Knocks it on. Hemed just can't get there. Jukovic is going to get it. Now to Bella. Birmingham City attacking with the ball. Where's Hardin? Cleared about it by Garcia. Now a counter attack could stem from this. Hemed hoofs it to Aniki. We are through with the goalkeeper. And Aniki scores. We take the lead at St Andrews. Unbelievable. Chucks Aniki scores a goal. He's only his fourth of the season. Let's watch it on the replay. It's great counter attacking football. And one hoof ball up top. Aniki able to just muscle the defenders off. Beat the goalkeeper. And a victory. Where would that take us? Is it updated? I think it has done. We would be three points from survival. But we can't look at anything like that for now. We've just got to focus on ourselves. As Luton Town are losing. That's going to ha uh, hamper their goal difference slightly as well. Three 0 now. My goodness me, let's just encourage them. Barnsley getting a 
are they drawing? They're drawing at Leeds. I need Leeds to do me a favour. That's a derby match as well. Are we going to get to half time? Yes, we are. Right, half time is 1 0. The Charlton Athletic against that have been all in their favour, but I'm going to say there is still a bit of room for improvement and just tell them there is a lot more to come from them in this second half. Let's get underway with it and hope that we can just drag a result out of this please a victory is important we need ideally Leeds to win against Barnsley Barnsley have taken the lead I don't know if you just saw that Leeds are losing at home a ball's put in and Aniki makes it 2-0 there's the confirmation Leeds nil Barnsley will please Leeds don't oh there you are literally in the playoffs Leeds but oh we're winning we've got to be happy we're beating Birmingham City, goodness me, game week 44, this is what the table says, hang on, we're on 40 points, aren't we on, we're on 42 aren't we, yeah 42, let's pause it, so at the moment, <clears throat> Leeds are shooting us, Derby County, how are they doing, they are, they're winning by three goals to nil, what on earth is happening, every time we get a victory, other teams are just able to to win as well and just push further away that's been a story of this season as well Luton as I say have been hammered Middlesbrough and Birmingham are all on the same points as Barnsley and Derby this is unbelievable we've got to concentrate on this match because we're spending too much time <clears throat> excuse me looking at that I'm going to get rid of Matt Smithy for Josh Cullen see how Cullen can do but we are doing very well if Leeds just get a goal just help us please Leeds To highlight, Whittock onto the ball, finds Josh Cullen. Don't lose the ball now, lads. Do not concede. Field shoots. William shoots. Saved by Lee Camp. Is the highlight going to end there? You can see Birmingham are on very attacking in terms of their mentality. So they are going to be a lot more open. Leeds have scored. Leeds have scored against Barnsley. That is huge. Aniki, we're attacking with the ball at our feet. Field, what a ball to Aniki. Can he whip it in this time? Oh, he can't, but he's going to get the loose ball. McEachern gets it. Aniki keeps hold of it. Finds field on the edge of the area. <laughs> what a goal. What a finish from Sam Field. He scored a goal similar, not similar to that, against Brentford. That was his first. And another great finish from Sam Field to make it two for the season. It's a stumble in there. Aniki is present, able to keep the ball. It's a beautiful curling effort with the left boot. And oh, my goodness me. This really is going to be some match here. Uh, we're going to bring on Osh Tuma for Williams, but this is pretty much settled. So I'm going to bring on Chris Solly. Surely we're going to win this game. As Leeds have taken the lead. Leeds have taken the lead. Cardiff have scored as well against Derby, but unfortunately, if they hadn't won that, and that would have been 44, that's very unfortunate. And Middlesbrough doing well as well. No, they're losing. I think Birmingham are losing as well, aren't they? Yeah, of course Birmingham are losing. We're playing Birmingham. <laughs> But this result would still give us a fighting chance. I am going to praise them because they're doing fantastically at the moment. We need Leeds United to hold on to this 2-1 victory. They've turned it round. Cardiff have scored again. Do not let Barnsley score whatever you do. I'm looking eagle-eyed at this result. It stayed the same. I think I'm going to say assertively I'm very pleased because that is a great performance. We have controlled that match. In the second half, we just need to have a look here at the results. Oh, I've never had such a intense episode in terms of looking at league tables. So we're still in 23rd after that dominating performance. Oh my goodness me. Charlton Athletic 23rd. Barnsley did lose. Derby County were victorious against Cardiff. Middlesbrough defeated. Birmingham obviously defeated. Wednesday should be safe, I do think. However, mathematically, Cardiff and Wednesday can still go down. We can finish as high as 18th. But wow, wow, wow. Let's give them a rest. Aniki has played fantastically there. Getting two goals in that game is fantastic from him. Such a presence and an assist. Quite a time, he was superb. But we are going to now... We're going to play the Wigan game off camera, which is a game against an irrelevant... It's irrelevant for them because they are 7th. That victory for Leeds against Barnsley means that Leeds will not be finishing 
sixth place, they can still finish as high as third, which might give them some advantage. But they are secure in the playoffs. So could help us. In fact, Wigan are literally safe. They're not going to finish any higher than that. And we've got to hope now that we can get a good result off camera against Wigan to give us a fighting chance on the last day. Regardless of whether we go down or we stay up, we will play. Well, sorry, regardless if we've gone down, I'll still play the Leeds match on camera to give them one last taste of camera uh, video footage in the championship. But we've given ourselves a fighting chance. We spent quite a lot of the season in the relegation zone. Could we stay up on the final day? The championship final day is a very intense one. But we've given ourselves some hope. Let's have a look, actually, before we just leave. Luton Town have got a... Why have you got to play a team that have been relegated? They're, they're playing Hull City. Who haven't won since they beat us. Oh. Luton have got to play Hull. That's annoying. Who have Barnsley got to play? I can't believe they've slipped into the relegation zone as Derby have picked up a bit of form. They're playing Forest away. Sorry, Forest at home. And then have literally have Brentford away. We've got to hope Hull City do us a favour. Unless we win this game and Derby lose. Who have Derby and... Oh, it's hard to, Derby have got Leeds. It's just there's so many teams in this scrap here now. Birmingham, Borough, Derby have all been dragged into it. But... We're going to end the episode there. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do hit the like button. Comment any suggestions regarding the team and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with this save because I'm so enjoying it. It's been intense and I hope, I'm praying to the gods that we can survive on the last day. But it's all in our hands. We've just got to do what we can to get accumulate as many points as possible. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you for the season finale in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.